Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Brandon Wiley. I'm the president of the Operator Foundation. We are a nonprofit. Uh, we make uh, communication technology for people that are experiencing total internet shutdowns, which is when uh, you're in a country where they shut off the entire internet and all the cell phone service for the whole country. So we work with a variety of different technologies that help people in those situations. So uh, I've been coming to the DCC for a couple of years now, and uh, you know, learning about these different technologies and, you know, asking people questions about how we can use them effectively. And uh, so I thought this would be a good place uh, to pitch my idea of uh, coming up with a new digital mode. And a lot of you may be thinking, why do we need a new digital mode? There's already so many different digital modes out there. We've got DMR and we've uh, P25 and XDN. Uh, system fusion, and then of course things like uh, APRS, and uh, of course uh, traditional packet radio. There's a lot of digital modes out there. Uh, <laughs> this is CW. So, uh, so yeah. So well, so there's a, a few reasons that I think it's time for us to come up with a new digital mode that we invent. One is uh, the cost of hardware. Uh, we want to have much, much lower cost uh, hardware for a lot of the different things that we want to do. And there's these now, these like low cost uh, radio modems, uh, whereas a lot of the digital modes, people are still basically taking a radio and getting a sound card interface and then having another computer to do the modulation. And it's like a, a pretty uh, complex and expensive system. I think we can do better with the modern technology. Uh, and also there's been over time like changes in the way that people are operating and the specific sort of features that they want out of their digital modes uh, and the use cases, you know, have been evolving. So I think that, uh, you know, I think it's at a point right now that we could do something new that would be modern and, you know, be, be helpful for a lot of uh, cool new use cases. Um, so, uh, you know, I've been putting together the list of what are the features that I want to see in this new digital mode. and. Uh, one of the main things is just like much, much lower cost hardware and then being very easy to use system for beginners where you don't have to have all these different components that you have to hook up together to cobble together a system, just kind of a, a nice like box that does all the things. Uh, voice text and file transfers should all be, you know, like front row features. Um, and the thing that's really important for me is good integration with repeaters. Uh, I would really like to see some digital mode that supports uh, voice communication and is able to use like an APRS style uh, simplex repeater, which is like a much, you know, lower cost type of repeater for like people to DIY and make small deployments and such. And uh, there's a lot happening these days with internet uh, gateways. Uh, with the internet gateways, you always have somebody to talk to. There's all these uh, hot spots and things for the existing digital modes. So I like to see that as a first class feature. And then of course, uh, we'd like to use open source uh, codecs for things because the uh, proprietary codecs have been giving us some trouble uh, for a while in the community. So, you know, I've done some work with things like Codec 2, and I would love to see that, you know, sort of thing become a part of this. Um, and then, uh, you know, I want to have, you know, first class features for amateur radio uh, users, as well as um, when amateur radio users do emergency communication, there's some features that I'd like to see. So, uh, you know, things like being able to do uh, like uh, all the stuff that people are doing with Whisper with like uh, uh, beacons and reverse beacons and all that sort of thing. I'd like to see that, uh, you know, just built into this new digital mode. And, uh, you know, uh, okay, so in terms of, you know, how I'm thinking about how this is going to be designed, uh, some of the top features are compatibility with these low cost digital modems that exist now, you know, like we're talking about $10 boards. Um, that you can use for doing all of the modulation side of things and then building it on top of uh, IP networking because there's a vast amount of software that works on top of IP networking once we get that working and you know this is based on things in the past like uh, IP over packet radio is something you know that there's still drivers on Linux kernel for that and then um, using some of this great uh, zero configuration technology for assigning addresses and things like that is just kind of uh, an idea of the direction that I'm going with it in, in my current thinking. So, uh, so yeah, so what I would like to do is I'd like everybody to get involved uh, with designing this new digital mode. Um, you can email me and then I started just today a empty GitHub project called New Digital Mode. And uh, so, you know, you can uh, 
get on that GitHub project and we can start uh, working on it. Now you may think, how can I contribute uh, to this? I'm excited, but I don't know, you know what to do. Well, I have a lot of different things that I'm asking for, and they are, uh, tell me what features you want to see. Uh, help me work on the specification. I have a, a background in writing internet specifications, but um, you know, the more help, the better. Of course, we have to implement it. And then also, I would love to hear everybody's uh, idea for the best name for this new digital mode. Just keep it with just your number one best name is, is all I need to hear. All right, thank you, everybody. <laughs>